shut that gate. Jack, let's go to that. Just at the mother-in-law's now, we're just going to do a quick job. Well, my mother-in-law, Jack's grandma, we're just going to replace that tile there. I don't know if she's in, she might be out there. Come and see us, bring us a cup of tea and that with a bit of luck. This is one of these jobs she's been putting it off, been promising to do it for about three months. Never got round to it. Right, so we've got the broken slate. There's a fibre cement type slate, 300 mil v 600 mil. There's actually a bit of old. I don't know what that's been under there for. Yourself. So these are fairly simple to change, but you do need the correct equipment. You need one of these slate as rippers. You cannot do it without that. First thing to do, these have a little copper disc or a rivet that come through these holes. These are actually missing anyway there. You can see you've got them there. That's what they should be like. They basically come through and they bent over. So want to remove those which will enable us to lift these tiles up just very slightly. You've got to be careful because they do break easy. So just lift them up a little bit and a wedge under like that. And then to get this out, we need to get the nails I'll show you on it, a new tile on it, a new tile. Hey, so here's a new one. You've got your nail holes there and there. So they'll be fixed underneath here somewhere. So what we've got to do is get up with this tool and hook the nail with this. And then that we will be able to cut, cut it and pull it out. So we'll slide that one there. There, and feel that's on to it. Then we just give this a, a bash. There we go, first one out. And the second one. Second one out. Something's still catching under there slightly. There we go. Oh, there she is. Look, here's the mother in law. Look, she's probably come. You're going to be on YouTube, Pam. No! <laughs> right, so that's got, those, that's got those nails out. Right, so what I've got to do now is get this slate slid under there. The trick's getting up onto the, the lat at the back. What you can do is use this and slide it under. by hand or sometimes it's easier to slide if you can get it up this slate like that it's a bit of a fiddly bit this is the most fiddliest bit there we go that's that's in that's it now I think there should have been an extra row of slates all the way along the bottom under there it doesn't quite look right how he's done it anyway what we need to do next secure this slate. Now there's different ways you can do it because you can see you're trying to slide down. What people do sometimes you can fix onto this, you find your timber there, you can fix a strap of lead or a wire, just screw into there or nail it there and bring it down, put the slate on top and then bend it around it. So sort of hook, hook around the bottom of this slate. I personally think that looks a little bit messy so I'll show you how I do it. it probably wouldn't be so bad on this bottom one in the gutter but when it's halfway open you can see them they don't they don't look too good so we'll get that back in like so I'm just check with that that's gonna sit down that's not bad wedge that up so now we need to put these copper discs Snipe those pliers is handy for this just to get them on there. Keeps dropping, keeps dropping down. Yeah, so 
line that up, I'll drop that one down. So we see that there's no come through there. Just got to line this one. Oh, he, he's, yeah, he's granddad Jeff come to be on YouTube as well. There he is, there's granddad. Granddad Jeff come well. He's already had an attempt at this, but obviously didn't have the sniper's ripper. He failed. He failed, Grandma Pam says. <laughs> Not very nice. Anyway, so we've got the rivets through there. I was trying to give those a little tap, and that pulls them down like that. Now, to secure this, what I like to do is a little bit of adhesive. Right, I've had to undo these rivets just to give us a little bit of movement, so we'll lift that up just squib a little bit of this sticks all the DCF that shows that looks a bit tidier than sticking a, a lead strap or something around just bond that down there and I'll tap those rivets back over right so that's that all in obviously if you were doing more than one you can then get to the fixing points and put nails in it's only the last one that you can't put nails in and that you need to sort of bond down with either adhesive or a, a copper strap but that will set up that adhesive this is what i use sticks all works even in the damp and the wet so it's perfect for this all done